Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This lesson will cover XML schema. While document type declarations, or DTDs, can be sufficient for describing very simple text document types, databases may need to validate their content in a matter that is beyond a DTD's capability. So what we'll look at in this lesson is the idea of an XML schema, which is a different way of describing an XML document type's proper contents. We'll take a look at how it compares with DTDs in terms of its capabilities. And we'll do that by taking a look at an example. XML schema allows for both the content and the structure of the document to be written in XML syntax and also provides for more specific descriptions of element content. So let's start by taking a look at what a schema is. The word schema comes from the world of databases. When we're building a database, we want to be very careful in describing what the proper structure of each database record is. So we talk about the records, and we want to know which fields are in the records, and we want to know what the valid content of each field is. So that if there's some sort of error in the entry of information in a database, we can catch it as soon as possible before it louses up processing somewhere further down the line. So a XML schema is based around this idea of giving very precise descriptions of the proper content of different parts of our XML file. Now let's take a look at the advantages of using a schema over a DTD. The schema, as we'll see, are written in XML syntax. When you have a DTD whose syntax is borrowed from a predecessor language of XML, during an era when it was popular to kind of create different syntaxes for different parts of a file, we have to create a sub-portion of our program, our XML processor, that's going to deal with that syntax before we get back to dealing with our corner brackets and element names and that sort of thing. By creating schema in XML, it allows us for ease of programming. Our XML processor can use namespaces to distinguish our XML document content from our schema content. And that way, our XML processor, processing the corner brackets and the element names and everything else, can just do double duty and handle everything. Also, schema are designed so that you can describe the types of content that are allowable in an element in a little bit more detail than a DTD allows you to.